Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. This is the fourth problem solving uh, video. It's about chapter four where we discuss specific heat and other supplementary material. The first law, specific heat, uh, boundary work, and uh, specific heats or energy changes for uh, incompressible like solids and liquids. Here are a few of the uh, key concept questions that are selected randomly from the problems uh, at the end of the chapter. Uh, first, uh, uh, an ideal gas uh, at a given state, so fixed state, uh, is expanded to a fixed final volume. So V1 and V2 uh, are the are fixed in that initial state, uh, given to a fixed, uh, expanded to a fixed final volume in two ways. Uh, first, at a constant pressure, and then at a constant temperature. So this looks like something related to Cp or Cv delta T, right? So uh, right off the bat, you know, and uh, and uh, Cp is greater than uh, I don't know what happened. Cp is greater than Cv. So um, so the amount of boundary work done uh, to expand it at constant pressure will be higher because we explained this that this is confined and all of the energy that you put in will will will. Um, uh, will uh, contribute to this uh, final volume to the delta u basically and at a constant pressure when you have like a piston cylinder device uh, some of it will be will be uh, let out as boundary work so you need more heat okay more work basically um, so a second is the relation delta u is equal to mc delta v uh, restricted to constant volume since you have this is a specific heat at constant volume process only or can it be used for any kind of process processes of an ideal gas we said this and similar equations since they relate properties of the systems sorry so regular properties point functions they are valid irrespective of the type of process so even if you have like a constant volume process so the increase in u will be equal to this regardless of the increase in the total energy which could be the sum of the internal energy and the flow energy this is by how much uh, the, the system's energy has increased uh, but delta u will always be equal to mc delta t uh, third uh, question is the energy required to heat air from an ideal gas from 300 to 295 to 305 like 10 degrees Kelvin the same as the energy required to heat energy from 345 to 355 assuming that the pressure remains constant in both cases well they, they are close we saw a, a picture of these uh, uh, this is noble gases, this is Cp and this is delta T, or T. Uh, you remember this figure that uh, for air and oxygen and all these gases, it changes, but it changes with 300 to 1000, so it changes over a large range. So this is just a 50, uh, a 50 uh, degree change. It changes, but not that much. Well, I can, delta T, I mean, uh, uh, Cp is indeed a function of temperature, so it will change, but not uh, not by uh, much. Uh, fourthly, uh, uh, a fixed mass of an ideal gas, so uh, like a closed system, is heated from 80 of uh, 50 to 80 at a constant pressure. Okay, so it's a constant, it's an isobaric process. Pressure doesn't change, and this is uh, heat is being input. So so from temperature to a final temperature at one atmosphere and at three atmospheres so you know that uh, for which case you think the energy required will be greater so delta u okay or delta basically delta e uh, will it be uh, higher for the at a higher temperature high pressure or lower pressure you know, you know this is uh, to cv delta t right even if this is a um, at a constant pressure, so this is like delta H the Cp delta T. Uh, this thing is not a function of pressure. So you have here uh, one at uh, at one atmosphere and one at three atmosphere. It doesn't matter. This will be the same for an ideal gas. 
if this had been like water or, or some refrigerant or some other non-ideal real gas مثلاً, it would be it would be different right uh, a fixed mass of air is heated same thing from 50 to 80 degrees Celsius at constant volume okay instead of constant pressure at one uh, uh, at a volume of one cubic meter and three cubic, it doesn't matter again the CV is a function of temperature only it's not a function of the volume or the specific volume it doesn't matter uh, I hope this is uh, clear uh, okay a fixed mass of an ideal gas heated from 50 to 80 at a constant volume okay and at a constant pressure for which case you think the energy will require to be greater just like the, we discussed I thought we answered this uh, and the energy required as fixed uh, at uh, at uh, fixed pressure would be would be a bit higher maybe 50 percent higher and then is it possible to compress an ideal gas isothermally uh, and adiabatically in a piston cylinder device uh, so isothermal and adiabatic um, it's a I, I wish I wish they they delayed this uh, question until chapter seven when we discussed the uh, entropy. But um, if you look at the equations, it's uh, no. If you have it, uh, well, the only uh, if you if you want to add you know, piston cylinder device, if you add boundary work, the temperature will increase. No ifs ands or buts about it. The only way you do it isothermally is to extract some heat to keep the temperature constant however you said adiabatically so so it doesn't matter it's not uh, it's not the same and you could look at the equation and this will uh, will be clearer let's uh, look at uh, uh, some of the problems the other problems uh, we have here a piston cylinder device initially contains 0.07 cubic meter of nitrogen gas at um, 130 kilo pascal and 120 uh, celsius degrees celsius so you have a, a piston cylinder device uh, you have um, uh, like nitrogen which is an ideal gas uh, and you have uh, uh, the volume so v1 uh, and you have uh, p1 and you have t1 so basically you fixed the state uh, and you have R, so basically you have M, M1, right? Uh, and then the, now it's expanded polytropically to a state of uh, 100 kilopascal and 100 degrees Celsius. And you want to determine the boundary work. So you have uh, later on, you have uh, P2, uh, which is, uh, I don't know, 200, 100, okay? And this was uh, 130. Pascal, and you have T2, which is 120. Of course, if you want to use some ideal gas equation state, you have to convert this to um, um, like Kelvin to, to not, uh, not run into any trouble. So, um, so basically, for polytropic processes, you know, from uh, the when you integrate uh, PdV, uh, this boundary work will be the integral of the partial d. PDV and the, and the polytropic uh, with N, uh, so it's an ideal gas. So this is basically um, this is this will be P2 V2 minus P1 V1 over N1 minus N. Okay, and for an ideal gas, uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, one. Uh, 0.2, uh, uh, 1.2. If you can, if you can solve for it uh, using the P pressure and the and the, and the volume uh, at the first and the last state. So you have this is constant. This is constant and uh, and uh, what else is constant um, uh, and. Uh, Volume constant, so basically you have so P1 V1 uh, to the n is equal to P2 V2 to the n. Right? 
So you can solve for this and uh, the manual gives you this as 1.249 and uh, you can substitute this here and you get the boundary work as uh, 1.86 kilojoules, right? So, um, so there you have it. Um, next, uh, we'll look at the uh, mass of 1.5 kilogram of air, again an ideal gas at pressure and a temperature so you have air and you have T1 and you have P1 uh, is contained in a gas tight so there is no uh, mass in or out a frictionless piston cylinder device so this is my device this is my piston and, uh, uh, and it's free to uh, expand or uh, contract or be compressed so the air is now compressed to a final pressure of so p2 is equal to 600 kilopascal it was 120 kilopascal uh, during this process heat is transferred from the air such that so such that uh, the temperature inside the cylinder remains constant so basically t2, t2 is equal to t1 and then we find at 24 degrees celsius 24 degrees celsius ideal gas we have to change to kelvin don't forget uh, and we want to calculate the work input during this process um, since this is uh, uh, it remains constant this is an isothermal process um, if you if you do this you see, you see the mass is the same so mass m1 is equal to m2 just m uh, r is constant uh, so so when you have m r t okay have constant 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 is equal to p1 v1 which is also equal to p2 v2 right uh, and uh, you can you can just use the, the form that you want for the boundary work this is the only work that's been uh, that's been done uh, and this is just the integral of uh, c over v which is uh, pv so so basically this is c uh, any p and any v uh, natural log v2 over v1 right uh, this you could do either the first one or the uh, last state um, or you could also do this constant it doesn't matter um, so uh, so that's it uh, I then this guy on v2 over v1 is also equal to p1 over p2 right so this is might as well you say mrt natural log of p1 over p2 uh, sometimes uh, especially in chapter 7 or uh, you will see problems where you either given the volume ratio or the pressure ratio okay so you take either the v2 over v1 or p1 over p2 just be mindful of this fact um, well, that's it okay i don't know what the numbers are uh, next you have one kilogram of water initially at 90 degrees Celsius oh, I thought we did this problem one kilogram of water uh, chapter three anyway um, uh, I don't know if, maybe this is a repeat if so if so I apologize I thought this was chapter four so one kilogram of water is contained at uh, initially at 90 degrees Celsius with a quality of 10%. So it's almost a saturated liquid, uh, but not quite. Uh, occupies a spring-loaded piston cylinder device. So this guy uh, and is a spring-loaded device. Okay, as in the figure. I don't know what the figure is. Uh, uh, this device is now slow uh, is now heated until the pressure rises to 800 kilopascal and the temperature is uh, 250 so initially uh, you have fixed the state so state 1 uh, is x equals 0.1 10 and the temperature t1 is equal to 90 degrees celsius 
state two, uh, you have uh, we have uh, T uh, or P two eight hundred kilopascal and T two as two hundred fifty degrees Celsius. So you have fixed state. Uh, this device is now heated until the pressurized this uh, this T and determine the total work produced during this uh, process in kilojoules. Okay, so uh, um, so spring loaded piston cylinder device. Uh, uh, so I assume this is touching, right? And I'm not spring loaded. The spring is active. You remember we did a problem where you have a spring and then you have this where it expanded and then at some point it touched to the spring and so this was constant pressure. And this was a pressure that it increases linearly and this is a linear spring I don't think this is the what they meant in this problem I have to check in the figure I forgot which problem which version which book this is so uh, but good thing and then you have the answer so 24.5 kilojoules in the higher you have you have the uh, man we want uh, if you spring boundary work and all that let's get the rest of the thing you have uh, from this fixed pro uh, state we have the rest of the properties like uh, p1 v1 and so on uh, state 2 a then you have everything that you you want uh, p is is uh, is uh, we'll, we'll get p from maybe the, the this is constant pressure. This is uh, constant pressure. This is like a linear spring. So this is uh, uh, this is P and V, right? So this is uh, V1. This is P1, and this is P2. So you can get uh, V2 um, from from the state, right? Just from the tables. Uh, so if you have all of this. And, and if this is a linear spring, then uh, all the work that is done, uh, forget the heat, there is heat, but then there is work, work out, because heat in and work out, uh, will be the area under this curve. So if you can, uh, if you can imagine this as an area under this curve, uh, you'll get the average of this pressure and multiply by delta V, right? So that's what you uh, what you what you can do, uh, and uh, you have the pressure V2, and you have the pressure you can get it from this state V1, um, and uh, and you, can, you have the rest of the pressure basically. So you just work with this. What you have to realize here, and uh, this is a linear spring, and from start to finish, the pressure is increasing. If you hadn't had anything. And the pressure, uh, then the pressure would remain constant. So this will be like V1, V2 pressure constant. Uh, here, however, this is a linear spring, so it doesn't matter where you push it. Uh, the increase in pressure or the force applied is the same. This is why we strictly work with linear uh, pressures. So, uh, and this should be the answer, okay. 24.5. Just work it out and make sure you uh, you have it. Uh, again, a piston cylinder device. So I don't know if this is the same. I don't think we did this in chapter uh, three. Uh, again, uh, a piston cylinder device um, contains 50 kilograms of water at 20, 250 kilopascal and 25. So the this state is fixed, right? So you have enough information. So this is also a piston. Uh, or spring loaded piston cylinder device. Uh, the cross section, there's a cross sectional area. So, so the area of the spring, the cross sectional area, let's call it the cross sectional area, is, uh, is 0.1 meter square. So, so it didn't give me the diameter, and so I multiply by, so if it had given me the diameter, then, then the area would be like pi over 4 d squared. Okay, so but now it gave me the area and the amount of value that will have exceed. So, uh, so uh, state one, I have state one. Uh, I have the, uh, the temperature 
I have the pressure and I have the mass okay uh, mass mass m1 m2 شكل this is a closed system so it doesn't matter the cross-sectional area heat is now transferred there is some heat in um, to the water causing part of it to evaporate and expand um, I don't know what the temperature is, 250 and 25 degrees. Check that this is a superheated uh, 50 kilograms. Yes, it looks like a superheated uh, type of uh, thing, but I could be mistaken. Uh, sorry, 25, uh, 250 for EMEA, then it could be compressed, uh, uh, then 250 even more compressed. Yeah? So this is a, this, this looks like a, looks like a compressed liquid. Um, I hope you see what I'm saying. In uh, 25, it was 100, it was one atmosphere, then it could be uh, compressed, but even much more, twice the, the, uh, the, or two and a half times the, the atmospheric pressure, so this should be compressed. Anyway, I could approximate this. This is V1, almost Vf at the temperature at 25, and, the, and uh, also have the U, uh, U1, this is V, this is U1. Enthalpy, uh, but uh, yeah. You know, so this is what I uh, this is what I need. Uh, Vr and I have this, so I have V, also V1. Uh, in state two, state two, uh, well, the, well, the mass is the same. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, part to evaporate and expand while the volume reaches. Okay, when the volume reaches 0.2 meter cubed uh, so the, the piston uh, uh, the piston reaches a linear spring whose spring constant is 100 kN per meter so so state 2 uh, uh, so so state 2 uh, the work of the piston that comes in so this is if i want to plot this uh, this used to be a, uh, a constant pressure, so I have a constant, um, so this is a constant pressure process, this is an isobar, we have a compressed liquid, um, uh, we'll, we'll figure out uh, this, uh, this is state 1, okay, uh, and so we'll see where this ends. So more heat is transferred until a piston reaches, rises, Pugubma, uh, so my reaches a linear spring uh, more heat is added until it rises 20 centimeter more uh, so into the spring so basically this will be this will be um, uh, this is pressure and this is uh, temperature this will be uh, yeah, and this is uh, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's keep it to PV um, so the pressure rises and then and then it will uh, it will reach a piston uh, cylinder let's look at uh, let's say this is an isobar okay and tv let's say this is an isobar so me when it was here and it began to rise the pressure was constant constant okay so this pressure was constantly um, lay in state 2 so p2 when it touched this thing this is 2 p is equal to uh, 250 kilopascal okay um, um, and also I know in the m2 is equal to m1 where m okay doesn't matter but I also know that uh, it gave me uh, reaches uh, the volume reaches 0.2, so V2 is equal to 0.2 meter cubed, uh, and I have this already, so I can I can uh, I can I can see what the what the what the state is, right? So I have when I me, I have P, and I have V2. So I have also so I have U2 I'll have uh, H2 where well, I don't need it and uh, and this is fixed okay so everything is fixed uh, and then it reached so it depends you know the state here the state here 
uh, I don't want to do the numbers, but in uh, state 3, generally, um, for Gandhi, uh, well, mass is the same uh, until the transfer to the piston 20 more. Well, I guess we have to have to do the numbers, right? Uh, With me, okay. so uh, state one twenty five, yeah, twenty five degrees like this. The specific volume is. Oh, 0 0.001003 oh, this is uh, um, 0 0.001003 meter cube per kilogram and the u 25 u at 104.83 so this is 104.8 uh, yeah, 8.3 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, if you take this uh, specific volume and you you apply it, uh, if you take this mass and the volume, the second volume will get specific volume here, and this will be. Uh, this will be between between uh, oh, the so between VF and VG so so the second state is inside the this is saturated uh, you can calculate the quality this in, uh, this will be something like this okay and that's between uh, VF and VG. Okay, let's just double check. 2.2. Yeah, it's in between them. Uh, and طبعا uh, uh, the process is here. This is isothermal and uh, isobaric. Um, but at state two, you have the spring, and the spring it stops being isobaric, so it will change. Then have the isobar, have the isobar, and have the isobar. So, so this will be uh, this will be uh, um, uh, the pressure will increase, will increase, will increase linearly, right, until it stops here or here or whatever. So this will be uh, this will be the, the case. Uh, I exaggerated the slope here, and actually this is compressed liquid, so this is almost vertical, right there, and then this changes the specific volume for compressed liquid almost uh, stays a constant. So let's uh, um, yeah. So if you if you do this. Uh, point oh one we we'll have a point oh one so 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 basically uh, point uh, point uh, times an area you have to calculate delta volume so this is so the change in volume just give you the number and you do it uh, yourself this is point oh two manata v three is equal to point Point two two, then So this is point one. This is, this is point two. Of one, and this is point two two. Okay, this change the volume. Okay. Okay. Um, I need to check these numbers. I think they will be correct.
next um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fixed mass so again it's a closed system like all the problem chapter 4 a fixed mass of saturated saturated water vapor at 200 is isothermally cooled until it is a, uh, a, a it is a saturated liquid uh, okay so so you have state one um, uh, so u uh, is equal to v is equal to vf at 200 and then v saturated water at one saturated vapor at 200 اللي هو معروف and uh, state one and isothermal until it's saturated with two T1 is equal to 200 degrees Celsius state two we know in the isothermally so T2 is equal to T1 اللي هو 200 and um, uh, until it's saturated liquid so V2 uh, is equal to VF at 200 200 degrees Celsius uh, now we calculate the amount of heat rejected during this process um, so a fixed amount of mass it does it matter and uh, this is a piston cylinder device with a rigid uh, tank with a piston cylinder device will uh, does it matter what the, what the tape what the type of uh, system is no it doesn't and uh, point functions again point function this is a fixed amount of mass it lost some energy and we want the amount of heat rejected so uh, uh, some of it came from boundary work in will out will some of it uh, came from electric work the moment that it rejected some heat to keep the thing isothermal Wow. So, uh, so you have uh, you have what you need. Uh, so you have V1, you have T1, you have the U1. Will have uh, you have, and you have uh, you have uh, this guy. You have uh, U2 and everything. Uh, I uh, this this is I mean, this is easier than than you might see. And uh, I told you, and it's a saturated uh, liquid and saturated vapor. So, so you know that uh, on, a, on a TV diagram, this started as saturated vapor and ended as saturated liquid. Okay, and the uh, boundary work for this uh, constant pressure, like a constant temperature, well, I can even, this is an isobar, so this is constant pressure, uh, so just this area, right? So the boundary work is equal to, to P delta V, right? And it will, it will, will be uh, uh, you know what the, what the V is, or per unit mass, or okay, like per unit mass, so it doesn't matter, it's like a lower case. Okay. About V, small V, right? And, um, and once you get the boundary uh, work, uh, this is this is the part of the first law that you want: Q in minus Q out plus W in minus W out minus W B. The boundary work uh, is equal to delta U, and uh, where U two minus U one, where you have all the U's, right? So. Uh, um, U2 minus U1, basically UFG, how the hell U1, U2 minus U1, U2, how the M, uh, you can divide by M everything, Marco Q out, and uh, Marco F1 uh, uh, Q uh, in, Marco Q in, so you have just Q out, uh, um, and if you write it by per unit mass, this is Q out, or Q exit. Uh, macro work in macro work out the boundary work uh, so this is we can have nine so this is w uh, in the dallas here out here on the out it becomes the w in and this is uh, uh, u2 uh, u f will u1 and the ug uh, so so this is u f minus u g well i say u g minus u f and the question will be u f g so uh, if you want to write it in this term, so plus uh, Marco M uh, plus uh, 
the value minus okay? so uh, plus uh, u of g that minus means uh, u of g right so plus u of g you will be 2 minus u1 minus u2 uh, u1 minus u2 no i think so there you have it um, uh, next uh, you will do some of the of the steady flow devices we have uh, steam at uh, 75 kilopascal uh, and 8% quality so you have uh, the quality at 1 and you have the pressure at 1 this is contained in a uh, spring loaded uh, piston cylinder and uh, well, it's a steam, it's not a steam turbine. Uh, a piston cylinder device, uh, even spring loaded, uh, as shown. Uh, I don't know from which problem uh, we just investigated to shoot us from the problem number. With an initial volume of you have V1 to meter cubed. Uh, steam is now heated until the volume is 5 meter cubed. So, so basically, uh, Iqbar. من 2 إلى 5 وأيضا السبرينج مولي شقال عليه and the pressure is 225 so P 1 كانت كم and then 75 state 1 state 2 راح يصير P M is the same so pressure 2 is 225 kilopascal and v uh, 2 is equal to 5 meter cube this is, uh, this is 2 meter cube this is 75 how much there kilopascal and this is uh, 8 percent so point, point oh 0.08 right uh, steam is now here until volume kada kada determine the heat transfer and the work produced by the steam during this process sometimes i ask about the work produced yeah, general work out and then when you do the calculation you know you see the work out is a negative the work was never out it was a work in but then you assumed in the, it was out which is fine it doesn't matter um, so so you know and if you look at this is spring loaded uh, so this is not a constant pressure process well isothermal process well a, well a isobaric process this is a, يعني, a increasing pressure well, uh, I see chili in the constant uh, pressure. What well, I can do to spring can use it using uh, uh, like, uh, like a slanted uh, bike. So let's uh, let's look at uh, what in and out we'll start from the big, very beginning. This is the energy in and this is the energy out is equal to minus uh, I mean delta E of the system. So E2 final minus E1. Uh, what form of energy uh, we said it's heated. And uh, and there is uh, pressure. I mean, there is uh, uh, work done uh, by the by the bond. There's a boundary work done. And also there is a uh, uh, the spring work done. So uh, so let's let's uh, just simplify this. Q in uh, is one of form of the energy in um, work in. There is no work in except uh, the spring we'll worry about it till, uh, till, uh, till, uh, next step next step uh, and then we have the uh, work out macro q out v uh, macro work out v macro turbine there's not a turbine so you have a boundary work out right and this is equal to the difference in temperature or an energy between state 1 and state 2 uh, if you ignore this almost delta PE almost zero this is stationary so this is basically delta U uh, U2 minus U1 uh, basically N U2 minus U1 uh, do we have this um, yes we have it now they fixed the state so this is U1 is fixed and this looks if you check this it will be hopefully uh, something that you can uh, can calculate so you too okay 
I don't think this is also and it might not back avail let me check actually pressure 225 225 let's look at the saturation 225 the saturation temperature is 123 and um, uh, uh, specific uh, volume well, I don't have this so uh, let's calculate this one addition of specific volume um, and then a volume uh, so volume uh, uh, v1 is equal to so volume so is 2 meter times point and divided by this this will give you a specific volume of uh, percent quality this will give you a mass of 11 kilograms and v2 V2. Let's organize this. So this is P1. This is Maruf. And V2 is equal to 11.2. Okay, meter cube per per kilogram. And uh, uh, mass will be this V1. Okay, uh, two divided by 11.2. Uh, this will be uh, around. Uh, Sorry, this is uh, mass 11.2. So this is actually on a table. This is 0 0.1783. Right? And this is uh, 0 0.1783. Here 11.2. Right. So this is the mass is constant. That's the shape. M2 is equal to M1. <coughs> Uh, and when you when you divide this by this, you'll get v2, v2 uppercase divided by m, uh, 11.5 over 11.2, uh, 0.4458 meter cubed per kilogram. And if you check at 220, and uh, you check the VF and VG, you'll see in uh, this is um, this is a uh, V two point four is point four. The final specific volume uh, should be uh, point. Uh, uh, Should be superheated, right? Meter cube. Yeah, I think. Anyway, so so uh, you'll get the final uh, volume. Uh, you'll uh, uh, you'll get the. Well, you worry about this, and had خلص now, had خلص now. So you have the uh, have the right hand side vector based on the properties. Sorry, I messed up the tables. Let me get a table wrong. So, so all that remains in the unknown. This is the only unknown. Actually, the this thing, given uh, the. Had a constant pressure, or had if you have a spring, so you'll you'll have the the average pressure. So this is uh, uh, this will be this is P delta V. Uh, uh, if this is the P, the average P. So this is P the P one plus P two. And you have it as uh, uh, seventy five and two hundred twenty five divided by two times delta V. Five or, uh, or two, so uh, v two. This is five minus two. Good. So this will give you uh, the boundary workout. So you add to it the change in internal energy, and this is basically what the and how the nahatania. This is what heat is required. So Q n is equal to whatever. So what this is saying, and uh, you need Q. In this amount, you need the Q to uh, to expand the thing, 
you need Q to expand the thing because it will not expand it. It was resting and it's happy in its place. So you need Q to expand the thing, to move the boundary. But you also need Q to, um, to uh, 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 to, to do the boundary work and push against the spring, right? So that's uh, that's a contribution of both uh, uh, the two contribution that the Q is doing. Uh, next, uh, we'll do the the internal energy balance delta U of hydrogen. It's an internal. It's an ideal gas in kilojoules per kilogram as it's heated from 200 to 800 uh, uh, Kelvin using empirical uh, specific heat equation. Uh, as uh, in table A to C, this is the thing that I, that I told you should be the most accurate. Uh, and for nitrogen, or often hydrogen, uh, you'll see in the, well, this is the equation. Let's just write the, the basic formula Cp of an have a molar based of bar, a little kilo joules per kilomole Kelvin. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, A plus B T plus C T squared plus D T cube and for hydrogen um, A is equal to A this is 29.11 uh, plus uh, this is uh, minus uh, 1 uh, point 1916 times 10 to the minus 2 of nt and the uh, c uh, is equal to uh, 0 0.04 actually 0 0.4 0 0.4003 t squared minus d here uh, 0.8 0.87 uh, times 10 to the minus 9 t to the third so this is minus uh, times 10 to the minus 5 so this is you plug in the temperature and you integrate right so uh, so you, ha you heat it from 200 to 800 Kelvin um, uh, so so basically uh, so basically Delta uh, u instead of instead of delta u is equal to minus cp dt uh, uh, you have uh, well this is a function of t uh, you'll have delta u over bar which is kilojoules per kilogram uh, mole uh, kilo mole kelvin and this will be from one to two of this function so c v uh, whatever it's function of t dt uh, you just do the integration, and uh, and then and then that's it, okay. Um, and then when you get this, uh, when you get this, per kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin, what you want the, you know, whatever, uh, determine the internal energy. Okay, delta U. Well, I said delta U uh, thing, so so delta U is nothing but delta U over what divided by molar mass. Here, the molar mass for hydrogen from table A1. Um, it's 2.0, uh, 2.016. Okay. Uh, and then uh, from uh, from the empirical college, and then the CV at the average temperature average temperature between 200 and 800 is 500 so you look at table a to c and you see at for hydrogen uh, for hydrogen at 500 uh, cv is 10.389 okay so this is b cv at t av uh, is 10.8 uh, 10.389 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and C uh, value at the average temperature uh, 
دي اف 1 اند سي فاليو ات روم تمبرتشر اللي هي ستيبل اي 2 اي 2 1 Well, CP hydrogen at ambient temperature. This is uh, 14.0, uh, uh, 14.307. Well, now let's see CP at room temperature. Uh, oh, hydrogen 14. Uh, 10.183. So CV is equal to 10.183. Could just be carried out. And you, you you use this in this formula. Delta U is equal to CV uh, delta T. Okay, so expect to see something like this in your uh, in your first midterm and uh, maybe in your final guide. Uh, lastly. Um, uh, a problem about uh, an insulated rigid tank uh, that is divided into two equal parts by a partition. So, insulated uh, rigid tank with no insulated, and yeah, Q is equal to zero, and uh, there's a partition and two equal parts. So, V1 is equal to V2, V2 is equal to V1, and initially one part contains four kilogram of this is M1. Let's call this is one uh, of an ideal gas at 800 uh, kilopascal. Okay, and the other part, the part is evacuated, so vacuuming, vacuum, uh, vacuum two C's will uh, see. vacuum the two U's, uh, and um, and. Uh, um, ideal gas مو مكتوب مش كبر شنو الايديال gas هذول uh, ولكن we know انه 4 كيلوغرام so we know m uh, this m اللي هو هذا let's call this is part 1 and this is part 2 uh, m1 uh, well m2 is equal to 0 ولكن بالنهايه m3 اللي مجموع هذول مع بعض this should be m1 plus m2 اللي هو m1 هذا ما في هذا 0 Evacuated, vacuum. Well, I can volume V3. The one we want to have V2. We know that V3 is equal to V1 plus V2. So, so actually V2 is equal to V1. Manata, manata V3 is equal to two V1. This is one. This is one. Okay. So we know V1, V2, V3. Put them home, and we know that. Masses at mal one, mal two, or mal two in the whole. So, so the partition is now removed, and the gas expands into the entire tank. طبعا we know from our discussion of boundary boundary work, and when the gas expands, it expands work boundary work that pushes the atmosphere away. Well, after the other vacuum. There is no work done. Didn't push anything. Move at Macron the atoms that were pushed by the gas. So the gas actually did no work. But Sina, we don't know this yet. Uh, well, after we discussed it when we did the boundary work. So, um, so we need the final temperature and pressure in the tank. If we um, if we did uh, uh, if we did just uh, just a simple accounting uh, initially. Let's say in uh, just the ideal gas. So you have uh, you have P1 V1 equals to M epsilon M R T1. Uh, you have um, everything is given, but the volume. So V1 is equal to M R T1 divided by P1, which is given. Okay. Bima uh, uh, and given, we have uh, this is state one, or part one. We have P2 is equal, I mean V2, like we wrote here, is equal to V1, which is not the same. Well, I can, P2, if I continue here, I go in that P2, V2 is equal to M, epsilon T, R, T2. And here you have, you have, 
ال M is known, ال R is known, ال T is known, ال V عفوا is known, and we want uh, the T. We don't know what the T is, so we want the final temperature and the pressure in the tank. Uh, so how do you get the pressure? Seems we have two unknowns. Um, let's look at. Uh, we need another equation. Good. So this has two unknowns: the P and the uh, state one completely fixed. State two. Let me see. Everything is the same. Uh, our state three, actually, for that matter, uh, is not uh, is not known. So let's try have a mass conservation. Macro mass conservation. M one is equal to M is equal to M three basically. So the first law tells me that Q in uh, minus uh, Q out plus W in minus W out minus W boundary really who out is equal to uh, delta U where M U2 minus U1 there is no uh, enthalpy and there is no moving boundary and no kinetic and potential energy changes uh, it says um, um, uh, and insulated so Marco Q's no uh, electric work so these are Marco Marco and normal work this is not a boundary work well maybe yes maybe no um, yeah so so Bima and the Murphy in this usually I have boundary work well in this expanded into a vacuum so even the boundary work is is uh, is uh, is null nothing so so it seems that and the mass is the same so I could all of this is equal to zero so this is equal to zero manata u2 or u1 is equal to u2 what does this mean well for an ideal gas contains an ideal gas and then ideal gas and then we know u is u is a function of t manata if u1 is equal to u2 you know temperature what does t2 equal or t2 is equal to t1 if this didn't change then temperature did not change well uh, this would have this would have uh, meant that uh, u changed now can you it did not change no work no heat nothing so what causes the internal energy to change usually this when i compress it at least the boundary work does this okay here you have a vacuum so it, it makes sense the pressure well the pressure uh, uh, the pressure should be from the ideal gas state uh, equation of state if you do this if the temperature is the same this is t1 and the volume is twice uh, the initial volume then p2 is half and then if m r t now let's go like this way m r t is equal to p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 uh, 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 so so basically p2 is equal to p1 v1 over v2 and uh, and uh, uh, v1 over v2 is equal to one half and the cover and three and cast in uh, so it, it, it multiplied in, uh, in, in volume, but it, it uh, re was reduced to half the pressure. <clears throat> I hope this is uh, clear. Uh, yeah, the key idea is to trust your ideal gas equations, uh, equation of state, and, uh, and know how to apply your, uh, your initial uh, uh, your, uh, uh, energy conservation. Uh, lastly, okay, okay, lastly, we have an insulated tank that is divided into two equal parts by a partition. Again, I like these partitions. Too. So you have the uh, insulated tank again, Marco Q, okay, and uh, and uh, uh, two equal parts by a partition. Two equal parts. Uh, 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 um, We have a boom. Well, uh, a well insulated, well insulated room. Uh, 
3 by 4 by 6 so we have the volume okay we have the volume of the room uh, gallery well insulated uh, well, let's uh, let's read slowly together well insulated room so no Q from the room uh, we have the volume of the room like 3 times 4 times 6 <coughs> And we have the temperature, T1 of the room, that is 10 degrees Celsius, is heated by the radiator of the steam heating system. So this is the radiator, radiator uh, usually, uh, uh, usually around, the, around the edges of the home. So this, is, this have a spreads heat, really, and have a steam, and it a steam. So, so uh, uh, like a central heating plan that radiates. So, on the dual Gardia, they they don't uh, they don't use electrical heaters, well, uh, well, uh, um, like uh, like uh, split units that that uh, run as heaters. They use steam. Uh, the radiator has a volume of 15 liters, so it's filled with superheated vapor at uh, whatever. So this guy has uh, superheated vapor at 200 so superheated at 200 kilopascal and 200 degrees celsius and the volume so this is t steam one t steam two uh, t, uh, t steam from p steam one uh, p steam one and v uh, steam only were 15 liters which is you know, 0 0.015 meter cubed. Good. Uh, filled superheated vapor. At this moment, both inlet and exit valves uh, to the radiator are closed. So, how the gas will circle a closed system. So, how the hard or how the Okay, initially at 10 degrees Celsius. We will show you how at 200 degrees. A 121 uh, 20 watt fat. So, and then a fan here. Uh, uh, circulates uh, uh, distributes the air in the room so عشان هذا يبرد عشان air goes around ما ننطر إلى الأبد so this has to uh, circulate the air the pressure لاحظ أنه في energy okay so unless you're told to disregard this energy even this heats up the room if this is well insulated uh, the pressure uh, of the steam is observed to drop by 10 uh, by uh, to drop to 100 kilopascal can 200 kilopascals are 100 kilopascals after 30 minutes as a result of heat transfer to the room طبعا برد some of it well didn't condense maybe but uh, maybe it almost condensed المهم uh, انه فقد some energy and this showed up as a, a drop in the pressure after 30 minutes as a result of heat transfer so Q out من steam الى الى الروم air uh, assume a constant specific heat زين uh, of room air at constant temperature يعني C P or C V uh, is equal to C uh, uh, V at the average temperature uh, at room temperature then at room temperature will be 10 degrees Celsius okay I determine the average temperature fan and the average temperature of air after 30 minutes <coughs> okay and assume the air pressure in the room remains constant at 10 uh, kilopascal so so uh, so basically the shoof at 10 kilopascal is a at 100 kilopascal is kether delta u uh, uh, delta p of the air okay uh, the volume of the room i don't want you to worry about it الحين but the volume of the room you should have a wide have a asharat meat lantar you should actually uh, deduct minute the uh, volume of uh, the radiator, but it didn't say anything about this, so it's fine. Yeah, the radiator, not the room, uh, that's something else. Uh, a good place to start it is, uh, is the energy uh, energy balance. Well, I can uh, you have to um, see what the what the, your system is. Okay, if your system is the room, well, uh, the your system is the the steam itself. Will the combined uh, the combined uh, system? So uh, let's say this is for the whole thing. 
there is no heat, no 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 heat exchange with the with the outside uh, environment. So um, so there is nothing to uh, to worry about there. Uh, let's take for example the the, the steam. Okay, let's start with the steam. You could do the room if you want and see that the internal energy being higher will remain constant. Can, let's do for the steam uh, first. And uh, we have properties at the steam at state one and uh, at state two for the steam, you have, uh, 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 you have, you have, uh, Let's write it here. State two, you have uh, P two. Well, I can. This is a seam. How that is a closed system. So from P and T, I have the specific volume. Adel, specific volume of steam at state one. So how that and So I know the minimum specific volume. Well, volume. When you add the volume, I could get the mass of the steam. Only who are the same mass of the steam. Only who are the same. So V. 2 is equal to V1. Where Okay. Ma tagayar hajme. And we mass ma tagayar. So, so this thing, it's like an isobaric process for the steam. Uh, but the pressure now became 100. So I can I can get the uh, properties. So I can get V1. I can get U1. I can get H1. Everything. And here I get uh, uh, U2. I get V2. And so on. V2 is V1. And I can get T2. So all the properties of the steam, uh, everything is fixed. Probably I will show you here, as we have reached 100 kilopascal. Probably the shape is compressed or at least saturated, saturated mixture. So if you have this, you can you can get X2 bad. If this indeed was a saturated mixture, you can get uh, X2. Um, uh, and uh, and and when you when you do this for the steam, you'll see in the, in the Q in there's no Q in. There's only the Q out for the steam, and there is no uh, there is no uh, work in well out well well uh, boundary work for the steam. And this is equal to M for the steam U2 minus U1, okay, delta U. So you have all of these, uh, U1, U2 for the steam. So basically you have the Q out of the steam. So if you have the Q out of the steam, you know what the Q in is for the air. And then the Q out of the steam, where the Q in mal the air. So, so you flip the thing and you substitute for the uh, for the Q in minus Q out plus W minus W out etc. Delta U for the air, and there is no Q out for the air. It's just the Q in which is negative minus the Q out. Or actually, the value of the same as the Q out is a positive number. We have the Q out. Fi work. Mm, I don't think fi work. Well, I think fi work. Then fi fan. And then it's 120 watt fan. So this is uh, uh, this uh, there is work. And then there is work. Uh, and uh, you can compute the work. So the work will power my fan times delta U. Might be 30 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, 30 minutes times 60. Let me add some more from 60 seconds per minute, uh, and so on. Um, um, the, the you have to uh, you have to account for the uh, the expansion of the of the air the, this boundary work out of the of the air. Um, so let's uh, uh, I mean you can you can you can uh, you can just finish up by by saying the Q plus W fan is equal to to just m mass of the air and then cp delta t okay. and the only the only thing that is missing would be um, would be the uh, the temperature right so this is the final temperature so t2 minus t1 uh, initially negational air minus I mean, 10, 10 degrees and this is the only that's missing we have the electric work and the the q 
transfer to the room uh, from the from the steam and and that's it okay i'll, uh, I'll see you in the exam goodbye